So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be learning how we can create forms in React and basically these would be controlled components. Now what is a controlled component? A controlled component is a component which accepts input from the user and you have the UI that is what you're seeing on the uh, on the front end the web page and the JavaScript that is your model or whatever you want to say the logic in synchronization right so whatever you make change you make in the UI it is immediately reflected in your JavaScript world and whatever change you make in JavaScript world is immediately reflected on the UI if that is the case you can say that that is a controlled component or you know a data binding if you're coming from an angular background so that's one of the same thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make use of state again right so I'm gonna say that this is my name and set name and I'm gonna use state and start it with an empty string right and I'm gonna right here go ahead and say that hey it's my input type text and what I want it's a value to be name right so what happens now is whatever the name value is it would be reflected in my input type so you can see right here we have this input field being rendered to us and we get a warning that we haven't implemented the on change handler what does that mean is that name is actually never going to change so if i try to write anything here um, i cannot show you actually but i'm trying to write here and it's not appearing why because when i write something here the browser tries to write that react re-renders this component using this thing and it react sets the value again to the value of name that is an empty string right so if i have something like double s here you're going to see we have double s and i cannot write or remove any sort of value right so i cannot remove this value so how do we fix this well we tell react that whenever there's an on change whenever this attribute is changed whenever this value is changed on this input field I want to update text field right so I want this method to be called whenever I change this now I can define this method outside my component that is completely fine but I need access to the set name function because I need to call this function inside this uh, method right we have an event here I need to call the set name function so either we can do something like um you know something like this where i'm calling e where i'm calling something like this so i pass in the event and the set set name function and i can access this here or what i can do is instead of you know messing around so much i can just simply keep it like this and move this function right inside here right so you can define your functions inside functions in JavaScript. That's just just fine. Or even better, if you want, if you're defining functions, you can define them after the return statement as well. Now in JavaScript, you know that functions are hoisted to the very top, right? So it does not matter if you're defining it before return or after return, they would work. I try to define them after return with a function keyword, make sure there's a function keyword, not something like, uh, you know not something like this because uh, this is not hoisted right const is not hoisted so this won't this is unreachable code so you have to define it using a function keyword and when you do that after return statement it will keep your logic a little bit more clean so you can have your you know effects and states and hooks basically at the top then your template at the uh, middle and your function co functional code your logic at the bottom Right. So once you have update text field, I can directly access the set name inside here because it's in the same um, scope. So I can just say set name event the target dot value. Right. So we get the DOM value using the standard API and set the state of React like that. And there sh we should have it. So now if I update it, it works just fine. Right. Similarly, you can have another field with a password field maybe with a value of password right and you can have password set password something like this and again with an empty string 
hit save and you have this field as the password field okay so yeah so we need to change this update password field definitely so we're going to create another function obviously you can merge these functions if you want but i'm just going to keep them separate for now just for clarity so i'm going to say set set password and there we should have it so now i can enter my username and password whatever it is finally we can have a little button so i can just go ahead and say the summit form right and what i want is when i click on this on click submit form should be called right so i can create a function submit form obviously this would also give us an event but we don't really want that because we just we are just interested in the value name and password so i can just pretty much go ahead and console log the name and the password again don't need to use any sort of parameters or anything because they are in the same scope of these functions so hit save and go ahead you know write something and submit the form and you see that we get our names and passwords logged in directly so dean don't need to like inside this function go ahead and look for the dom you know assign it some sort of id do a document dot get element by id stuff like that number one rule to remember about react when you're working with react is that if you have to have um you know if you want if if your code is trying to modify a dom directly using some sort of document dot get element by id or get element by class name if you're doing that in 99.99% of cases you're doing something wrong, wrong right so there's a better way to do that so make sure to look for that and make sure to implement that react is a declarative framework and uh, you should not be actually working with direct apis when you're working with react direct dom apis right so yeah just keep that in mind and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.